another story time. Shall we have a story? Shall we have a Christmas story? What about this one? Norman the slug who saved Christmas. And there he is, Norman. He's got a great big, it's not a shell, what is it? You're right, it's a Christmas bauble. Hmm. Now this book is by Sue Hendra and Paul Linnett with thanks to Simon and Schuster. Press. There he is, look. Norman was very excited. It was Christmas Eve. Look at him. He's all tucked up in his donut box. Just looking very festive. His stocking was up and he'd even left a snack for Father Christmas's reindeer. Can you see the snack? Where's the snack? Ooh. Maybe it's the milk. Ah, that's the snack. Meanwhile, far above, Father Christmas sneezed. <gasps> and without him knowing it, a sack fell from his sleigh. Down on the ground, Norman snuggled in his bed. Oh, I hope I've been a good slug, he said to himself. Oh, I hope Father Christmas comes. Yes, I have been a good slug, thought Norman. And he was just closing his eyes when... A whack! Wow. That's a big sack of presents, isn't it? Gosh, thought Norman. I didn't know I'd been that good. Thanks, Father Christmas. <laughs> Norman dived straight in. There was wrapping paper everywhere. But then he spotted something. What's this label? Said Norman. Mm. The scooter is for Jess, he read. The ukulele is for Billy. And the football is for Susie. Oh no, what have I done? None of the presents are for me. Billy, Jess and Susie will wake up tomorrow and think that Father Christmas has forgotten them. I'd better get these presents to Wiggleton as fast as I can. There's the address. The Shelby family, 11 Slime Avenue, Wiggleton. But Wiggleton looked a very long way away. It does look a long way away, doesn't it? How would Norman get all the presents there? Hmm. And that's when he had an idea. He, he pushed over the sign. Fantastic, that'll do nicely, thought Norman. Then he set to work gathering all the other things he needed. He was very busy. So he's got holly, he's got leaf. Ta-da! Wow! What a beautiful sleigh. Now it was time to rewrap the presents. But how? Norman didn't have any sticky tape. Uh -oh. But luckily, if there's one thing slugs don't need, it's sticky tape. With a slither and a slother, the presents were ready. Phew! There we go, he's wrapped them all back up again with plenty of, what's that stuff? Slime. 
Now it was time to put his plan into action. Hey, snails, he called. I need your help. We need to deliver the Shelby family's presents or their Christmas will be ruined. But Norman, said the puzzled snails, how will we do that? Like this, said Norman. Giddy up. Whee! Crash! Oh dear. <laughs> Finally, they arrived at number 11 Slime Avenue. Uh, Norman, said a snail, how will you get to the chimney? I won't, Norman replied. I'm going to use the cat flap instead. He heaved and pushed until the last present was safely through. Quick, Norman, cried the snails. The children are coming. Norman needed to hide, but where? Uh-oh, look, there he is. They'll see him there, won't they? Ta-da! Norman loved being a bauble. And nobody would ever know that a slug saved Christmas Day. Well done, Norman. What a clever slug. See you next time, folks. Bye.